Hey guys, this is KJ48, and welcome to my new Let's Play. Uh, this is going to be a Let's Play for Civilization V, uh, God and Kings, uh, Season 5. So, yeah, people have been begging me to play this for a long time now. And I put it up, a t I t as of today, I haven't put up the teaser trailer yet, but if you're watching this, you probably have already seen it. So, uh, I hope you guys are excited for it. Um, I really don't like... You know, I'm going to say this right now, I'm not too thrilled with God and Kings. Uh, it might get better as I learn more about it. I've just ordered the strategy guide, and, you know, uh, I'm going to really put some effort into learning a little bit better, but so far I'm not really digging it too much. Um, I don't really like many of the new civilizations. I picked the Maya here because they have uh, they have one... Uh, their spe one of their special units is you get it right away. It's basically an archer, and and I think it's even stronger than an archer, but I'm not sure. And you don't have to research archery for them, so that's pretty cool. Um, and they also get, I'm not sure what else they get. I think, oh yeah, they get a special building uh, called the pyramid. It's not the pyramids. It's not a wonder. It's just a single building, and you get it very early by uh, researching pottery, and it's really nice. It gives you plus two faith and plus two of something else. Um, science, actually. It seems like a pretty good building to have. Uh, and they also get, as you can see here, the long count. After researching theology, it's fairly far down the tree, uh, receive, receive a bonus great person at the end of every every Maya long calendar count, which is every 394 years. Each bonus person can only be chosen once. That's pretty nice. pretty nice bonus. Overall, I don't think the Maya are that bad. Um, it's just, you know, God and Kings, I'm not really, I'm not really, like, having a good time with the espionage, I really don't need it, and religion, meh, you know, I don't really care too much about religion either, but, you know, uh, I'm gonna try and get into it, because I'm sure I'll like it the more I understand it. So, as you can see, I'm gonna be the Maya, uh, playing on continents, it's a large map, Prince difficulty, and I upped the, um, the, the game pace to quick, so hopefully that'll make things go a little quicker, uh, for a Let's Play. So, yeah, let's get started. Alright, I'm gonna do some scouting here. Oh, there we go. Right off the bat. Uh, first thing I'm gonna go for is a scout. First of all, I'm going to be researching... Pottery. And as you can see here, those are like my archers. Oh, what is range strength is 7. I'm not sure what the range strength on the archer is. It might be 7 as well. They might be equal to archers. I'm not really sure. Um, anyway, I'm going to go pottery because pottery lets me build the pyramid, which is my special building. Plus 2 faith and plus 2 science this early. That's pretty powerful, I think. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for that. And I want to be building that as soon as possible. So I'm going to time this correctly. That's going to be done in 7 turns. So I will build 2 scouts because my first scout... Actually, I don't know if I should build two scouts. Anyway, whatever. The first thing we're going to do is build one scout, and we'll see what, where things take us after that. So as you can see here, I got bananas. Um, my luxury resources are sugar and citrus, so that's good. I always play on Legendary Start. I just like it better that way. And it's not cheating, because all the other, uh, all the other um, civilizations get the same kind of start. The reason I do like it is because it makes capitals extremely attractive to take, because Everybody's capital in this game is a monstrously good city. Alright, so we got a uh, Spearman upgrade. So that's good. So these are kind of like scouts that can fight back now. That's good. Alright, I'm just going to follow the rivers. You know I like to build my cities along the rivers. It looks like we've got a lot of jungle here. Um, probably going to need a lot of workers to clear this jungle. Man, jungles slow down even scouts. Because even though these guys are spearmen now, they still have the the capacity range of scouts. At least they're supposed to. I don't know if they changed that or not. Oh, we've got a city-state there. I'm going to go grab them, get the quick money. Oh, we got some desert up here. That's not good. I don't like this kind of desert, but I really like the desert hills. And if you can get a river around desert hills, it can be an, ex an extremely good area. Alright, so we have three more ch three more turns still pottery, and you know what? I gotta go to another scout. Um, I don't want to give up those two turns, so let's go to another scout. What is citrus? 
calendar I think Citrus takes. Alright, we got 30 gold for that one, that's good. Okay, and up here we're seeing another couple luxury resources. We're going to go for both of those. Probably... I'm not sure if it's going to be the same city or not, but we'll see. We'll scout around and see what we got up there. Alright. So I'm thinking my next city will probably be one, two, three... Four? Maybe like right here? And then... It's pretty good production, gold, and food in that area. So if I put a city there, one, two, three, four. That might not be a bad spot for a city. It's got the desert here, which I really don't like. But if I'm going to get that gold... Well, you know what? I could probably put a city right here and still get that gold quite easily. And then I won't have to deal with having this dead spot. See, I can get all this around here, and then I can, like, uh, uh, expand up to here, and then I can start expanding down. So let's put a city more around here. So let's let's look around there. Shall the clay say to him that fashioneth it? I'm oh, sorry about that quiet spot. I, I had to sneeze real bad. <laughs> I hate that. It looks like this is a bunch of desert, so I'm not even going to look up there. I'm going to scout around down here. Maybe I'll just build cities along this river. Alright. So, I think what we're going to do is... Build a city. One, two, three... Probably a city right here. And then one... And then, uh... That might still be a little close. So, one, two, three... Probably right here. We'll build a city here, and a city here. Yeah, I think that'll work. A city here and a city here. Well, you know what? We'll put a city here first of all, because that could get the gold and the salt. So, that's good. Alright, we're going for pyramids now, so we can get some faith going. I do not know a lot about faith. Um, you know, I'm going to look into it, but I read some things online explaining about it, and they were really, like, just long-winded and, like, not very self- I don't know, they, they weren't done very well. Or maybe I just don't get it. But uh, what I do know about faith is... You start getting faith, and when you have a certain amount of faith, you get a pantheon, and that that leads you into the religious thing. It lets you, I think, it lets you pick a religion. Um, you know what? Instead of speaking about stuff I don't know about, we'll just go along with it and discover it together. So this is telling me that it wants writing. I don't see why. I don't see why they want writing. I think we need calendar. Yeah, we need calendar. I don't know why they want writing so bad, but we're going calendar. I need to get this happiness. I need to keep my happiness going. You know what I mean? So. You know, this is a really nice area, except for the fact that the luxury resources are, you know, not what I really want them to be. I never got this. Damn it. Alright, found the ocean. That's good. We can get an ocean city over here. It's always good for gold. Although, an ocean city here might be really weak on production, so I'll probably put it, like, right here, so I can build a mine on that hill. Kind of worried about those barbarians attacking me, but I'm going to run past them anyway. He who destroys No, we got writing anyway, from the uh, ruins. Awesome. So that worked out. So, you know what? I should probably know what's down here. Let's get these scouts out of here. I don't really care about what's beyond these, this desert. Because even if there is something good up here, I'm not going to build cities going through the desert. So let's come over here. What's up, Gandhi? This wouldn't be a bad place for a city, but there's not a lot of production in the area. I know you could specialize cities. Um, like, if you make a city with, like, very low production, but a lot of food and gold, you can, like, you can like specialize it. But that's not uh, that's not a, a form of micromanagement I really get into. By the way, we got to go talk, see this guy so we can get the 30 gold.
Ooh, that's that's one of my favorite, if not my favorite, the culture one. Yes, 30 gold. Sweet. I have some information that may be right. of use. You have earned your first faith point. Faith can be used to found a pantheon, to spawn great prophets, and once you have founded a religion, to buy missionaries, inquisitors, and religious buildings. Mouse over the faith icon at Tefman, you see how much faith you need for your next threshold. Alright. Six, six faith is minimum required to found the next religious pantheon. Alright, so I, I think I'll get it in two turns. <laughs> it's good. Alright, production. Now what do we want to do here? They want me to build the Great Library. I don't want to build a great library. I do want a worker. You know what? I probably need a worker. Uh, hmm, this is interesting. Um, <sighs> Alright. Now, if I get a settler up... It's going to hurt my happiness because he's going to found the city. and But my happiness is going to take a hit. But it won't go... It probably won't go to negative one. Um, I think you lose two happiness and then one for the population. So it'll go to one. But if this city grows... Well, you know what? This city won't grow. Because I will be making a settler. So, yes, settler. I don't want the city to grow. Alright, the policy. These policy trees have been redone, and they are nerfed to hell. At least the way I usually play the game. I might just not understand the intricacies of this policy tr uh, setup anymore. Um, but I'm going to do my best. Um, tradition looks like it's pretty much the same. But liberty... Well, hold on. Plus one gold and negative one unhappiness for every two citizens in the capital. That might be worth it. Um, but other than that, yeah, uh, Liberty's good because you do you do still get collective rule, but they switched it, so you got to go through this to get to the collective rule. They also, well, I guess that's the only change I can see. I really like the Liberty tree. I think I'm gonna go. I really like tradition too. I'm gonna go with Liberty. I don't know why they haven't att attacked that scout yet, but I can get him out of there. So teach us to num. Here, right, another thirty gold. If I can get another couple of those, I might be able to uh, to uh, buy a worker. Alright, now what do I need here? Now, as far as the technology tree goes, my holy grail early on is going to be theology. Now, I think I am going to make a beeline for theology um, pretty soon. Probably not in this turn. I do want to get... I do want to get masonry, because I need to clear... Oh, no, not clear the marsh. I need to clear the... There's jungle, right? Yeah, I need to clear the jungle. Oops. So in order for me to clear the jungle, I need to get bronze working. So yeah, I'm going to need bronze working. I'd like to get masonry, because I really like to have the pyramids. Uh, I'm going to need the wheel for the roads. And I should see if I should see about animal husbandry. Because once you see once you use animal husbandry. You um you could see where the horses are on the map, and if you have horses, then you go for the circus because circus is invaluable for happiness, which is going to be an issue with me. So animal husbandry, masonry, bronze working, the wheel, possibly trapping, and then after all that, I'm going to go for theology. And my idea is I'm going to forget about my military, not even going to go for military, um, uh, uh, high end military units early game. And if I start looking like I'm going to get attacked, I will spawn. I will spam my archers, my archer units, and defend myself until I get theology. Once I get theology, I will switch over and go for military. So, for now, I'm going to go on animal husbandry. Doesn't look like I have anyone really close to me, so that's good. You know, knock on wood. Um, so, you know, we'll see. 
I think when you take down a jungle, I think you get negative one food and plus one production, but I'm not really sure, to be honest. I have some information that may All right, be I can find a pantheon, which is the beginning of the whole religion thing. And basically, um, you uh, you could choose from one of all these things for the pantheon. And I always go with the plus one production in cities with population of more than three. It's really, really good. Um, another decent one is Goddess of Love, Happiness from Cities with Population of Six. And, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of cool ones in here. Uh, plus two Science in Cities with Trade Route. That's really nice. Um, you know, there's a lot of these that are nice, but for now I'm going to go with the production in Cities with Population of Three. Let's finish scouting around here. Alright, I have the most production, which is nice. There we go. I think next turn we could buy our, buy our worker. I'm not sure if it's 200 or 210. There's another one right there. We'll be able to get him next turn. Our first worker. I usually like to buy my settler, but I'm going to buy the worker because we need the worker out pretty quick. I'm going to try really hard not to get a negative, happy, negative happiness. Alright. Research. Mining. That's pretty weird. That looks bugged. Um... Oh, yeah, we gotta see where the horses are. Okay, one sec. Alright, there's a horse there. Oh, wow. Barely have any horses. Alright, so I'm not gonna worry about the circus. It's kind of a downer. I mean, I will get those horses, so I will eventually make the circus there, but it's not a, it's not a huge priority. Um, bronze working is... go. And we're going to buy ourselves a a worker. Oh, it's 220. Interesting. All right. And we need to protect him. Um, I'm getting a little spread out here. Where's my, where's my, uh, right here. Yeah. All right. Good. Perfect. They're right where they need to be to go over there and protect my workers from possible barbarians. It's not showing me to do any improvements. That's kind of weird. Huh. I don't know why it wouldn't. Um, I'm going to improve the sugar. I'm going to put this dude on automate. Alright. Uh, we're going to go straight for the collective rule. That's even more production. This side... Uh, City's got a pretty decent production right now. Oh! Oh, masonry technology. Alright, we'll do the citrus. I thought they were both calendar, but I guess not. Put them on automate as well. really hoping to have more horses around. It's a shame. I do not have enough military units either. Because I have to guide my settler up here, and at the same time, who's going to watch the uh, workers? I'm going to make one of my uh, special units after this. Wow, they're stupid. Let's make a, uh, uh, 
add a list. And you need to... Oh! Oh! Okay! Alright, I totally screwed up. Um... I need, uh, the... Alright, here, let me, let me take my time and show you this. Alright, I need masonry to clear the marsh, and bronze working to remove the jungle. This has jungle, this has marsh, that's why I couldn't do either of them. Um, okay. Well, you know, I guess buying that worker was a bit of a waste of money. Damn it! I don't think there's much of anything I can do. I don't have trapping. Yeah, there's nothing I could do with this worker. Wow, that was a waste of money. Fail. That was a fail. Alright, well, I can do about it now, so... Now we're going to wait till those barbarians are cleared out. And that's my timer, so that's going to be it for part one. And we will see you next time for part two. Till then, take it easy.